Hello and welcome back to the Faded Wildflower Crochet. My name is Rachel and today is another episode of Will It Ami, which is a series on my channel where we test out different kinds of yarn and see if they're any good for Amagurumi. Today's yarn is Lion Brand Respun, which is a recycled yarn, which I have never tried before. And this bad boy has been sitting on my shelf for ages, so I'm really excited to try it out today. It seems like it kind of gets mixed reviews online, so I have no idea how I will feel about it, so we will see. For today's video, we are going to be making this little guy, which is my own design, and the pattern should be available on my Etsy shop when this video goes up, so you can go purchase it if you're interested. And I made this one in a bulky velvet yarn, and we're going to be working with bulky yarn today, but a very different texture. So it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. This yarn is normally priced at $10.99, but it was on sale as I made this recording. It's available in 24 different colors, and I chose the color Jade for today's project. Okay, let's take a closer look at the yarn. Like I said, it is a recycled polyester, and this is the thick and quick, so it's quite a bulky yarn, and it does have kind of a wool texture to it it's not wool it is polyester but it kind of has that wool feel to it not in a scratchy way it's actually pretty soft but it just has that nice like cozy texture to it if you know what i mean this is a pretty hefty skein it's 12 ounces here is an even closer look at the yarn i wish you could tell just how cozy it is through the camera it recommends using a size nine millimeter crochet hook. And I'm not sure what size we will use, but we'll see. I think that's about it. Let's get started. Okay, this is what I have so far, just the head. This yarn is a little bit tricky to work with. First of all, it took me about seven tries before I could finally figure out which hook size worked best. I ended up going with a 5.75 millimeter, and it's just not the smoothest yarn I've ever worked with. You can probably tell in some of the close up clips that I'm just having a hard time getting the yarn to glide nicely through the stitches. It kept getting a little bit caught. It doesn't exactly split. It's not like the Turubu yarn from my other video, but it, the fibers just get a little bit hung on the hook. And once I got my tension adjusted correctly, it became a little bit easier, but it's just not the easiest experience. It's not the worst either, but I am, kind of in love with the texture of this. I'm not gonna lie, I have not worked with this type of fiber in a really long time. So some of my problems could just be user error because I'm just not used to this type of fibrous yarn. But I like the way it feels. It's not exactly buttery soft. It's not like a velvet yarn, but it has a nice cuddly, cozy, I wish I could describe it in any other way, but it feels cozy to me. So I will be interested to see how the rest of this goes. Let's keep working on them. Thank you. 
okay our alligator friend is done isn't he cute i will say once i got the hang of working with this yarn it was much much easier it still snagged here and there which i i think is probably to be expected with this type of yarn that it's not going to be the most smooth yarn to work with but i didn't have nearly as many problems with the rest of it i kind of just sped through the rest of this project to be honest i didn't have any problems with the sewing <laughs> the one problem i did have was that this fabric is so thick that putting on the safety eyes was a little bit of a challenge i was having a hard time getting them to clip but i finally did uh, that was really the only problem that i had i I think this yarn is a great option as a bulky weight yarn that isn't chenille. I know that a lot of people love chenille and I love chenille yarns. I love velvet yarns, but there's a lot of people that don't love that type of yarn. So if you want a nice bulky weight yarn that isn't chenille, this could be a great option for you. So will it Ami? <laughs> yes, it definitely will. And I do love the fact that it's a recycled yarn. I know a lot of us fiber artists can be a little bit of uh, yarn hoarders. I'm guilty of that myself. So I think anything that can help to save fiber from going to the landfill by using this recycled yarn, I think that's great. So I'm probably going to use the rest of my yarn to make like a hat or one of those ear warmers to keep my ears warm in this winter when I'm out going for walks. So if you see me wearing it in the future, you will know that it came from this yarn, but it's just such a nice cozy yarn. And I think that it will keep you warm. And I think this yarn was probably intended more for making those type of projects, wearables and blankets and things to keep you warm and cozy, but it works for Amigurumi too. So I wanted to do a little side-by-side -side comparison of our two alligators. This one is a super bulky weight yarn, so it's even a little bigger than our velvet one. And if you're interested in purchasing this pattern, I will have it linked down below. But from me and my two alligator friends, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. And let me know what other kinds of yarns you want to see me try out. Subscribe, stick around. Like the video, comment all the things I'm supposed to ask you to do, and I'll see you next time.